This is a lesson on constructing rectangular prisms with a given volume. So what that means is we are going to be given a number of cubes that we need to use, and then we'll have to construct rectangular prisms. So um, there are two different ways that you would generally do this. Um, you would take uh, your area, or sorry, your volume, your given volume, and you would divide it by um, numbers that it can divide evenly by. Or you would multiply. So you'd think of three different numbers because length times width times height equals area or equals volume. And then um, you would find three numbers that when multiplied together equal the volume. So for example, if I had a volume of eight centimeters cubed, then one option I could have is eight times one times one. So this is always going to be a combination that you can use, um, is the, the volume times one times one. It's always going to equal the volume. Now, similarly, you could also get this, four times two times one, because four times two is eight, and then times one is eight. Or you could go two times two times two, and that would give you uh, eight, because two times two is four, and then times another two is eight. Okay, so I could have three different um, rectangular prisms and they would use the same number of cubes. So let's first look at a rectangular prism and we'll look at how to, we would measure one. Um, so first it's, it asks for us to find the length. So the length is normally, it doesn't actually matter, but just as a rule of thumb, we just go across uh, the bottom here would be the length. Okay, so to find the length, we would just count the number of cubes. We have one, two, three, four, five. So that would be five centimeters because it says that we're, they're made with centimeter cubes. The next is width, and that's usually the one right here that goes uh, across the side. So, and that's one, two, three cubes. So three centimeters, and then height, is up and down this way. So from here to here would be height. So we've got one, two centimeters. So um, based on this, I could find the volume of this cube because as I showed you above, if you go five times three times two, you'll get the volume. So five times three is 15, and then 15 times two, or double 15, is 30. So my volume of this, although it didn't ask for it, would be 30 centimeters cubed. Okay, let's look at an example down here. So it says use centimeter cubes to help answer each question. So it says find all possible rectangular prisms with 11 centimeter cubes. Okay, so I've counted out um, 11, cent or 11 cubes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. They're not centimeter cubes, they're the cube lengths, but these are easier to work with. So um, we'll build the one that we know if we go 8 by 11 by 11 first. Eight. So here's 8 by 11, or 8 by 1 by 1, sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 11 by 1 by 1 because we've got 11. Whoops, not anymore. 11 and then by 1 by 1. So the length would be 11, the width would be 1, and then the height would be 1. Okay, so um, we could write that one of the possibilities is 11 by 1 by, what's going on here? 1. Okay, now let's see if we can find another one. So the easy way to do that uh, when I have my cubes is just to break it in half because dividing by two is easy, right? So half of 11, well, that's five and a half. We can't break a cube in half, so we couldn't do that. We couldn't build that. Um, let's see if we can go into threes then, divide it into threes. Nope, we can't do that either because there's this goofy one left out. Um, it looks like we cannot make another cube. Or not another cube, another rectangular prism. Uh, there's no possible way to do it. So uh, the tricky thing about this is if you have a prime number, like 11, where the only thing that you can multiply to get that number is timesing it by itself, then there's only one possible um, rectangular prism that you could build. So in the case of 11, 
it's only this, just a long stick. That's the same thing with 7. You can't multiply anything to get 7 except for 7 times 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oops. This is the only rectangular prism you could get with 7. Or with 3, same thing, because they're all prime numbers. So that's one thing to, to just take note of. Most of your assignment is going to be um, not rectangular, or not prime numbers. Um, but there's, there's that one. So here's another one. Find all possible rectangular prisms with 12 centimeter cubes. So we're going to need one more centimeter cube. And I've already written the 12 by 1 by 1 in there because um, we already know that that's going to be one. Uh, your textbook isn't going to write it in there for you. But um, so here, here it is built. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 by 1 by 1. Okay. Um, now another option that we could do is split it in half. 12 is an even number, so we can do that. Divide by 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Split it in half. There's a, oops, there's my rectangular prism. So now it is 6 uh, long, and then 1, 2 is the width, 1, 2, and then my height is still 1. So if we go back to our page, we can fill this in. So we had 6 centimeters, and then it was 2 centimeters by the height was still one centimeter. Let's find all of the possible heights with just one centimeter. So another um, number that I know is 12 is divisible by is um, four. So if I break these into fours, there should be three pieces of them because 12 times, I mean, three times four is 12. So here we go. Now my length is four. We've got one, two, three, four. My width is 1, 2, 3, and then my height is still just 1. It's just 1 high. So we can go back to our paper, and we can write that out. So we've got 4 centimeters by 3 centimeters by 1 centimeter. Now, I don't think that there are um, any other ones that we can build with the just height as 1. But let's see if there's anything we could do um, if we built it with... Uh, height of 2. So if I wanted a height of 2, maybe we could break it, break it into 3's. Let's see. Let's see here. Well, we could build. So I've got my bottom layer that has um, 6 on the bottom. That means that's half of 12. I could build 6 on the top. So here we go. Now we have a length of 1, 2, 3. We have a width of 1, 2, and we have a height of 1, 2. So it's a 3 by 2 by 2. So we would write that down in our place here. 3 centimeters by 2 centimeters by 2 centimeters. And then we could play with it a little bit more just to see if there's anything else we could build. Um, what if we put a 2s? Is there anything else we could build with twos that we haven't built already? So we'll get some twos together. And let's see. If we stack these twos, then we would have a two by two by three. Um, it looks like we already have a two by two by three. We already built that. It's just a different angle. So that is not a different one. Um, we could try, well, put them like this. Okay, we've got 3 by 4 by 1. We already built that. So it's safe to say then that um, this is the most uh, possible rectangular prisms that you can build with 12 centimeter cubes. So I didn't count these out um, to t so that you would know exactly how many. I just put a chart in there for you to use. Um, and same with the bottom one. There could be more. There could be less than what there is. Okay, so that's how you would do it. So make sure you're actually using the cubes. Um, I know you like to build with them, so you may as well use them for an assignment. Um, what you need to do next is the practice. And it says you will need centimeter cubes, just as I said. 
And you need to do basically the same thing that we just did with 12, but you need to use 24 cubic centimeters and see how many you can come up with. Um, there's room below if you need to extend the chart. You may, may need to. Um, I didn't figure out all of the answers beforehand. So pause the video now and um, complete this question and then play again to see if you got all of the possible dimensions. Okay, so the first one, um, we, woo, it just broke. Uh, we can already see that, uh, we already know that's in our chart. It's this one. I can't even fit it on the camera, um, but it's 24 by 1 by 1. Now, if we break it in half, then we can get the next dimension, which is 12 by 2 by 1. So we can write that in there. Uh, 12 by 2, I don't know what's happening with my thing here, by 1. Okay, um, now I also know that 24 is divisible by 3 because 3 times 8 is 24. So my next dimension could be 8 by 3 by 1. So there it is there. Um, the next, so can you see a pattern here? I'm going 1, 2, 3. Let's think, is there a number that 24, or is there... Oh, wait, 24 can be divided by 4. Well, yes, there is. 4 times 6 is 24. So here is my uh, rectangular prism is a, a 6 by 4 by 1. Okay, so we can see that um, 6 and 4 are as close to a square as we could get. We can't go 5 by 5 because that would be uh, 25. So we can now move into the height of 2 centimeters. So the next one is going to be 2 centimeters. That means that we need to think of both of these, each of these numbers. When multiplied, needs to equal 12 because uh, we've got a 2 here. Okay, so think of numbers um, that divide by or that when multiplied equal 12. And we could go easy here. We could just take our one that we had here, stack it like this, and we've got a new rectangular prism. And I can tell because there's, it's all just six sides, nothing sticking out. I'm holding it together because I don't want to snap it. But uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six length, two and two. So six by two by two would be my next one. So I've got six by two by 2. So I've got 6 times 2 and I've also got 3 times 4. Uh, so I could do that one. So here's 3 times 4 times 4. We've got 3 across, I mean 4 across, 3 here, and there's 2. So this would be a, a 4 times 3 times 2. So then we add it to our chart. Okay, and okay, now what else could we multiply by um, to get uh, 24? I mean, to get 12, sorry. What else could we multiply? We could multiply uh, 12 times 1. So if I go 12 centimeters times 1 centimeter times 2 centimeters, that is going to give us. Um, 24, but we already have this up here. We've got 12 times 2 times 1. So that's the same thing. We don't really need to write that in there. Let's see if we could think of a one, one that's 3 centimeters high. Would, could we get something that would be different? Um, let's think. So 24 divided by 3 is 8. So that means that we can only have 8 cubes per layer. Um, but we can have 3 layers. So um, and this is getting really close to a cube, so this might be the last one that we can do. Um, so I've stacked them up. We've got four, and then two, and then we've got three. So let's see if we have a four by two by three. We've got a four by two by three. We are. We are just repeating ourselves. So it looks like I made the chart perfect because I don't see any others. I could be wrong. Um... Miss Bashworth isn't perfect, and if you did find one that I didn't find, then please let me know so that I can add it to my list. All right, so that is the lesson. Um, 
you are going to do the assignment on page 143 to 144 and uh, number one to six and please actually use the cubes don't just write numbers down just because you think that you are too good for these all right have a nice time